Good morning and God bless you. Welcome to Commanding Your Day with your favorite woman of God. This is Prophetess Jerusha this morning. And um, you're welcome to Commanding Your Day. Welcome to Commanding Your Day. If this is your very first time joining, I want you to subscribe. If you've never been here, you can kindly subscribe and like in share, touch notification bells. Welcome to Commanding Your Day with Prophetess Jerusha. God bless you. God bless you for joining in. God bless you for joining in. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Once more, this is Commanding Your Day with your favorite woman of God, and we are live on Commanding the Morning, which is our regular session. And if you're joining in or you just joined in, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're connected from. And God bless you as you do that. Good morning, Mama Christine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Go ahead and share. Tell somebody that we are live this morning. Go ahead and share. Tell someone that we are live this morning. For Chanela Cecile, good morning. Good morning, Wase. God bless you. Go ahead and share and tell someone that we are before the Lord this morning. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead and share. Tell someone that we are before the maker this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Carlson, Nayumbe, good morning. God bless you. Go ahead and share. Tell someone that we are before the Lord this morning. It's a beautiful day. And what a day the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. What a privilege and an honor to be before God this morning. Now, this may not be morning for you wherever you are, but it is probably afternoon or evening. But again, it's important to trust the next hours of your day to the Lord. This could just be that moment that makes the rest of your hours beautiful. Amen. I believe in divine orchestrations. And if you just joined in this session this morning, I'm certain in my heart that this is a divine programming. This is a divine orchestration for someone's good. So go ahead and share. And if you've never been here, you can also kindly subscribe. Why? So that every time that we are live, you're going to be connected. Amen. Touch notification bells. I never stop liking every session as a sign that you are involved and you love what the Lord is doing here. So if you're here right now, take out some time to share with loved ones and family members and sisters and brothers. It's important to command the day. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. And we give you honor for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love, O oh God. And thank you for your kindness towards us. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. There is none besides thee. Neither is there any God like unto thee. We praise you, O oh God. We, we magnify your name. We adore you, ancient of days because you reign supreme. Blessings and glory and honor and praise be ascribed unto your name. 
Thank you for your mercy towards us. Thank you for your grace in abundant measures. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Bishop of our souls. Thank you, Hope of life. Thank you, as source and sustainer. Thank you, O oh God, for another privilege to be before you this morning. I'm thanking you for everyone watching. I'm thanking you for every, all my brothers and sisters that are connected here right now. I give you glory for this meeting you had planned from the foundations of the earth. You're making someone whole this morning. You're preparing us for your blessings of today. And for today's victory, I thank you because you're fortifying us for it. Be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to be reading from Kings. Hallelujah. A prophetic word this morning is from Kings. Kings, 1 Kings 5. 1 Kings 5. Amen. 1 Kings 5. Do we have anybody there? Is Daryl there? You can put it up for us, Daryl. Or someone can put it up for, the, for us. 1 Kings 5. 1 Kings 5. Who? Kala da bushi tili babaya. First Kings 5, I think we're going to take verse 3. And then we're going to focus on verse 4. We're taking it from verse 3. And then we're going to focus on verse 4. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord. He's God because of the wars which were fought against him on every side. Until the Lord put his foes under the soles of his feet. Take note of verse 4. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. So that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Let me take the two verses again. It says, you know how my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the wars which were fought against him on every side until the Lord put his foes under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me, what a word, I'm loving this. But now the Lord, my God, has given me rest on every side so that there is neither a vestry nor evil. Look at what happens in verse 5. And behold, I propose to build a house for the name of the Lord, my God. Behold, I propose to build a house for the name of the Lord, my God. As the Lord spoke to my father, David, saying, your son, son whom I will set on your throne in your place. He shall build the house for my name. Amen. <laughs> I love the word of God. Now this scripture is more personal. But this morning, I want to thank God for the privilege to share this scripture with you. And I need your spirit open to receive the word of God. <laughs> for those of you that are just joining in, you're welcome. And we're reading from 1 Kings 5 and from verse 3 to 5. Just take a glance at it this morning. And I want to speak to us this morning about the place of rest. I want to speak to us this morning about the place of rest. About the place of rest. Praise the Lord. Remember that I said early this week. And in this last part of the year, few days to end the year, I said, though your beginning, from Job 8, though your beginning was small, your later end shall increase abundantly. That was a word the Lord gave us at the beginning of November on this platform. And we have been extrapolating. We have been, every word that has followed that word has been an extraction from different angles of the Bible. I mean, it, it's been 
all of that put together to help us understand and achieve what God is saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this morning, yesterday, two days ago, we we're talking about divine orchestrations in line with divine connections or divine connections as divine orchestrations. Amen. And if you, you lo if you missed the session, it'll be good for you to go back and listen to those sessions so that before we bounce back, those were major subjects that we're handling you know, in short, in short portions or in small portions, so that by the time we are bouncing back to those subjects, because those are pillar subjects, those are subjects on which life depends, success thrives, I mean success, you know, success depends on and, and lots and lots. But this morning, we are going to be getting to something this morning that is very, very interesting. Amen. I want to speak to you about the place of rest when it comes to achievement, when it comes to increasing, when it comes to your rest is very important. Welcome, Clarice. Once more, we're reading from First Kings 5, taking it from verse 3 to 5. I want to speak to you about the place of rest, about the place of rest. Rest is very important. Rest is very important. Now, we, we, we're we reading this story, and um, this is the story of, I mean, uh, David transitioning to Solomon and you're reading the scripture, you will discover that it was told David to build a house. And then God appears to Solomon and says, okay, your father couldn't build because he fought so many wars. He fought so many wars. I know life is a battle, but I must let you know that at a point, if you don't have rest, rest means an inner peace, external peace. Rest means, um, when we talk about rest, we're talking about that place in, in your life concerning different aspects where you are not worrying too much. There is financial rest. There is, there is spiritual rest. There is rest when it comes to achieve rest on every side. Okay, getting to that place where you have very little to do with, getting to that place of, of rest, of abundance, getting to that place where you think it and then you do it. You think it and then you do it. You know, I'm not saying praying and fasting is bad, but getting to that place where you don't need 40 days and 40 nights every time to just move to a country. You don't need to have to do 40 days and 40 nights to just to just begin a project and completely, completely, you don't need... So David got to a place, I mean, uh, Saul got to a place. What made Saul effective in executing, in building the house of the Lord was the fact that he had rest on every side. Was the fact that he had rest on every side. Rest is that state where you have been able to overcome anxieties, I mean, anxious fears, okay? Anxious fears is that place where possibilities are no longer difficult to, to see, okay? Is that place where possibilities become very real and then it becomes now easy for you to do the things that you should do and become. I introduced somebody this morning to a place of rest in your life. I introduced you to a season of rest in 2024. In the name of Jesus, I, I came to declare this morning that somebody is entering that season of rest. Somebody is entering that season of rest. Rest will help you to be able to rejuvenate. To re I mean, nothing makes you bounce back strong like rest. Nothing makes you have brighter and better ideas like rest. Somebody you've been fighting all through the year and you couldn't even achieve the things you should achieve because every time you set your hand at something, your child got sick, was rushed to the hospital. Every time for that vision that you wrote down, the Bible says in Habakkuk, write down the vision, make it plain. For that vision that you wrote down, you know, for your plans for the year, every time you made up your mind to engage on it, something came up that either threatened and diverted the finances. Something just came up that either halted you every time you made a step towards that particular dream, towards that particular vision, towards that particular thing. Something just came up as an interception. When we are in November and you're looking at all the things that you planned on doing since the year started and none of them has been done. Receive rest this morning. Receive rest this morning. Receive. When I read this scripture, I mean, I was... 
it was very particular to me and those who are very close to me will know how personal this scripture can be to me. But again, I was making up my mind that I will not just enjoy rest. I'll also be able to live a life that can be able to be, that can be able to bring rest to my next generation. Okay. It's important. It says, and look at look at what happens there. Is it? But now the Lord, my God, has given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. So you look at that consistent adversary, evil occurrences are the reasons why people don't have rest and cannot be able to achieve. I pray for you in this season. I pray for you today. I pray for you this month that this, this, this is, this is the end of evil occurrences. This is the end of evil occurrences. Let your amen be loud. I declare and decree that this is the end of adversary. Two things will take away rest from your life. Evil occurrences and adversary. Evil occurrences and adversary. Evil occurrences. You had so planned to, you mean, you literally got to that place where you feel like it's deserving for me to use a car for one or two things to run my errands. And just when you're putting it that, you know, you're putting in the money or putting it together to buy that, you suddenly hear that your father has had a sudden something and has to undergo it, that, that, and that just goes. I pray for you, I pray for you, that as we are ending the year, I pray for you, and that as you're stepping out today, no evil occurrence in the name of Jesus. No evil occurrence, no evil occurrence. Oh, Rabba Shanda. I declare and decree for somebody and myself, declaring that there shall be no adversary on any side, on any side, in the name of Jesus, I declare the wicked broken, no evil occurrence. We are agreeing on this prayer altar as we're stepping out today, as we're getting ready to no more evil occurrences in the mighty name of Jesus. No more evil occurrences, no more oh I've seen people end the year with burnt houses. I have seen people end the year with businesses that a strange fire just consumed. I have, I have seen people end the year stranded. Malakaya da Sina Mahantaya, Rababo Shanda Mamaya. As we appear before the Lord every morning, I declare that we are marked for exemption. We come under rules of exemption in the name of Jesus. We are coming under our children, our husbands, and wives, our churches, our members, our friends, our loved ones. Maleka de Sanima Shondaya. Rababa Sikane Mahonta La Babaya. Rababa Kababa Shonda Mamaya. Come on, somebody open your mouth and say, No more evil occurrence. No more, no more, no more. Manana Mashika La Babaya. Rababa Bosekele Boshada Baha. Rababa Sakanana Mashonda Mamaya. No not in health, not in finances, not, we, we declare, I declare as a prophet of the Lord this morning, no more evil occurrences on any side. In the mighty name of Jesus, no eventualities. As our children go to play, we will not hear, we will not hear that a leg was injured and has to be cut off. No more evil occurrences. As our children go to school, as they walk around to this end of the year, we bring them under divine covering this morning. We bring them under divine protection this morning. We will not encounter the challenges that would drain us financially. We will not encounter the challenges that would distort us mentally. We will not encounter the challenges that As we pray this morning, I want you, wherever you are, open your mouth and begin to say, no more adversary, no more evil occurrence. Begin to mention all the things that are left to do to the end of the year and say, Lord, no more interference. Earn 
energies will not be diverted to the wrong direction. I repeat as I declare prophetically, energies will not be distorted, will not be carried to the wrong direction. We are finishing well. We are not just finishing well. We are finishing in strength, in rest on every side. We are finding rest. Rest also means that which we had been doing through the year begins to produce for us. Kayama sekere bo shata. Rababa rekere bo shanda maya. Rinana no sande bahataya. Rababa ba regede bo saba. That which we had done begins to, begins to, begins to speak for us through the year. Leka baba shada babaya. I pray even for somebody that has sown. May your harvest be mighty. I pray for somebody you've invested into life. You put in a lot through this year. You've been putting in this and this and this. I declare that no. November comes in with productivity for you. I declare and I decree November coming in with productivity, a high level productivity. This month I breathe it on you prophetically in the name of Jesus. Become re productive, become revitalized, become refreshed in the name of Jesus. That the days left are days of harvest. May you be remembered for every good work you did this year. May you be remembered for every good work. May you be rewarded for every good work. I pray for somebody that even in your favor, your, your services in the house of the Lord, you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded for that which you did in the house of the Lord this year. Be rewarded. Find rest on every side. No more evil occurrence. No more evil occurrence. Marababa sataya. Lekanama sonde meheya. Likadaba sataya. Lord, anyone that was programmed for an evil occurrence. Anyone that was programmed for afflictions from the adversary. I declare, I declare such agenda destroyed this morning, brought to an end. I bought it in the name of Jesus. Rababa Sandaba on this altar. I declare and decree null that those agendas are nullified. No render null and void. They are inactive. Nahadebash. They will not be executed. Because we are calling on the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it and they are saved. Let us sata. As this year ends, we speak salvation to our souls. We, we, we ask for your saving grace. We will come on that solace. Leka machina mamahanda. Declaring and decreeing. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against us in judgment, it is condemned on this altar this morning. We receiving rest on every side. Rege de babaya. We receiving rest on every side. Rest on every side. Shakala babaya. Rest on every side. I pray for your sweat for 2024. May you reap a mighty harvest. May you reap a mighty harvest. Wherever you invested. Wherever you invested. As the year is ending, I declare there shall be no regrets for any reason. There shall be no regrets. I pray for rest for you, Magdalena. I pray for rest for you, everyone right here. Rest on every side. Lakaba shandaba. Wake up to a day of possibilities. Manana mashende boboyataya. Rababa bo sekeria bababaya. Wake up each day this November. I declare and decree. Wake up to a day of possibilities. No more struggles. La kadaba shata. Rekede bo shababa. That which you struggle to do earlier this year. May you find it easy. May you find it easy. May you find it easy. Manana mashende. May you find it. Easy, rekede boshada. May you find it easy as we wrap up the year in the name of Jesus. Enter your seasons of reward. Enter your seasons of reward. Enter your days of reward for 2024. 
Come on, somebody, enter your days of reward for 2024. Enter your days of honor. Enter your days of rest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And that which you are believing God for, I declare and decree this morning that it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. And as I continue to prophesy that a sound of rejoicing shall never depart from our camp. I pray for everyone on this family. I pray for everyone on this Christian family, on this spiritual family, on this prayer platform. We are ending the year in triumph and grace in abundance, in rest on every side, we will not have reasons to worry, there will be no reasons to cry, there will be no reasons to regret, for that which is not yet done, I prophesy this morning, the hand of God will do it for you, for that which is not yet done, I prophesy this morning, the hand of God will do it for you, the hand of God will do it for me, my I pray for someone in need to the end of this year and the Lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches not some needs all your needs what is that pressing need in your heart the Lord is meeting you to the end of the year you will not end this year stranded you are not ending it empty handed the Lord has already Already done six things. I am here this morning to say that he's getting ready to do the seventh one. Make Basata. God already saved you from six troubles. I am here this morning to say he is saving you this season from the seventh one. You are emerging on scat. Makaya Bashata. We are emerging on scat. We are emerging on scat. Inanama Sokoria Babaya. Rekodo Bosekeri Babaya. Rakada Baba Bosekeya. Rababa Bosha Baba. And they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I pray for someone that has been waiting on God this year. That your solution will be an indication that your strength has been renewed. That a solution in that family will be an evidence that strength is renewed. That the approved documents will be an indication that someone has been remembered. Receive rest on every side. Receive rest on every side. Who? Receive rest in your family. Receive rest on every side. Rest at your job side. Strange unwanted transfers will not happen. Undesired transfers will not be your portion. Receive strength. Receive rest on every side. Receive rest. The Lord says, receive rest on every side. That's the word this morning for everyone listening to me. Rest on every side. Rest on every side. Shala babayaha. Rest on every side. Rest financial rest. Somebody's receiving it. Marita rest. Somebody's receiving it. Career rest. Rest on every side. I prophesied into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you're stepping out today, grace abounds on every side, peace of mind, stability, joy, increase. For the beginning was small, but this later end shall abundantly increase, says the Lord. You're blessed on every side, flourish and increase, that even from your countenance, it will be said of you. You've been with the Lord and he's giving you rest on every side. Shara Baba, yes. I pray for somebody. Your both parents are sick. I declare they're healed. I pray for somebody who is destabilized to this end of the year because of afflictions in the family, because of sicknesses. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing upon the sick this morning. You're standing in the gap for somebody. You're standing in here for somebody. I declare healing upon them in Jesus' mighty name. The hand of God make them whole. The hand of God make them whole. The hand of God erase a standard against afflictions. I raise a standard against affliction. To this end of the year, I raise a standard against afflictions. 
Marababoshababaya. I declare that even at night you will not be poisoned. Some afflictions are caused by night poison. I declare in the name of Jesus, Makaya Boshababaya, that even in your sleep there will be rest. Even in your sleep there will be rest. No afflictions for you, for your children, for your husband. The power of affliction is broken. The power of affliction is broken in the name of Jesus. I keep hearing in my spirit to raise a prayer against afflictions to this end of the year. No afflictions, I declare and decree. No afflictions, no afflictions in the mighty name of Jesus. Rest on every side. I want you to write it out. Say, I have rest on every side. Kalababoshadea. Rabababoshada. I want you to write it out. Say, I am receiving rest on every side. Rest in your health. Rest in your health. Leka baboshada vayaha. Rest in your health. Rabababoshana mama yahasa. Ah, kama mama shababa yaha. Come on, write it. I have rest on every side. I have rest on every side. Leka da bashata ya. Go ahead and write it. Go ahead and claim it. I have rest on every side. I have rest, and because I have rest, I see possibilities. I have rest. I have rest on every side. Makaya Baba, go ahead and begin to write it. I have rest on every side. And as you declare it, it is done. I declare it is done for you. You can be a sick. I pray for somebody who is dealing with a, suffering from a stomach disorder. You were healed this morning. That, that has come across, uh, come across for days. I declare that you were healed from that disorder. You were healed from that disorder. Anyone that joined this morning, believing God for healing, I declare and decree in the mighty name of Jesus that you were healed. You were made strong. You were healed. You were made strong. You are healed. You are made strong. Thank you, Lord. You are healed and you are made strong. Somebody write it out. I have rest on every side. Write it boldly and confidently. Financial rest, rest in your health, emotional rest. I have rest on every side. I have rest on every side. It is done for you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. And I think today is Thursday. We have healing campaign Thursday, Friday. Every Thursday, Friday, 10 p.m. West, West African time. I'm trusting the Lord to be with us again this evening. The Lord bless you. And for those of you that are sowing into the ministry, you're partnering with the growth of the kingdom here on this platform. I declare that financially, you will enjoy the rest of the Lord. Financially, you will enjoy the rest of the Lord. You're partnering with me financially. As far as the ministry is concerned, I prophesy over your life that there is nothing you will lack to the end of this year that God will not give you for every financial need. I declare in the name of Jesus, it is met by the supernatural hand of God. In the name of Jesus, for those of you that are fighting, you're dropping your one-tenth on this prayer altar. I declare in Jesus' mighty name, the devourer is rebuked. And I declare that the last days of 2024 are full of abundance and increase for you in the name of Jesus. And as the Lord continues to lead you to do that, you can make use of the PayPal, the cash app, the details that are pinned to the comment section. And God bless you. Once more, I've always told you, take your money life serious. And one of the ways of taking that serious is in line with principles of giving, of sowing, of fighting. And as you do that, be rest assured, be rest assured of the blessings of obedience. The Lord bless you today. The Lord increase you on every side. The Lord is make his face to shine on you. We are getting to the end. And remember I said we're ending in praise. And today the Lord says you have rest on every side. Write it in bold letters. Rest, have rest on every side. It doesn't matter what is arising against you. Listen, it's just one word. The Bible says when Jacob had that one word, it lighted Israel. Pray for you this morning that rest has come as I prophesy in Jesus' mighty name. I love you so much. Maybe you're going to walk around today and nobody's going to tell you that. But it suffices to know, one, Jesus loves you and the woman of God loves you so madly. I love you. And I will see you again. And for those of you giving, the Lord bless your giving. Increase on every side. Find rest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I'll see you soon.